In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Our entrance song for this morning. The waves of death rose about me, the pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish I called to the Lord, and from his holy temple he heard my voice. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have pre- May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright, for without your grace we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, For to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are those who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Some of the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family? and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived. So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, why did you not bring him? The guards answered, never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? 
They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We turn to the heavenly, our heavenly Father in our great need, asking his help for our world, our nation, our families, our homes, our church. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Cardinal Dolan, for all who lead the church in these difficult times, that they may be blessed with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and the world, for leaders, and all those who care for us, especially those who place themselves in harm's way, doctors and nurses and policemen and firemen and EMTs and, uh, and those who work in those essential industries that uh, allow us to keep safe distances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For everyone in our parish that this time may be a an occasion for growth in the spirit and a realization of the closeness of Jesus to, to each and every one. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have asked the prayers of the parish and those who have asked our prayers and those who pray for us, for those in special need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are afflicted with any kind of illness, especially this coronavirus, for all our beloved dead and for the families that mourn them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers now offered in the quiet of our hearts. Heavenly Father, be pleased to look upon our souls and our hearts with the love that you have for your own Son, and grant that we may know that we are your children through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we have come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever, with humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquity, Lord. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to, to turn to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us to imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You therefore, almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, in giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously, to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. blood of Christ. Amen. Our communion song. By the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb, we have been redeemed. Receive, Lord, my entire freedom, accept the whole of my memory, my intellect, and my will. Whatever I have or possess, it was you who gave it to me. I restore it to you in full, and I surrender it completely to the guidance of your will. Give me only love of you, together with your grace, and I am rich enough and ask for nothing more. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them the abundance of heavenly grace that helped by the consolations of this world they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come upon you this day and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the, the Archangel, Archangel, defend, defend us, us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.